In this video, we are going to solve a problem with a strong acid that I am going to warn you ahead of time is actually a trick problem. What we want to solve is the following. We want to find the pH of a solution that is 10 to the minus 99 molar hydrochloric acid in water. Please pause the video, attempt to solve the problem, and when I come back, I will show you first the incorrect solution, and then I will show you the correct solution. Welcome back, and now I pr will proceed to show you the naive, incorrect solution to this problem. So, beware, this is the incorrect way to do it. To solve this incorrectly, we do correctly note that hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. Therefore, it will dissociate completely in water. So, we can make a quick assumption that the hydrogen ion concentration is exactly equal to the concentration of the hydrochloric acid, which we know is 10 to the minus 99 more. Okay. Then we want to use the definition of the pH. And we know that the pH is the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. So in this particular case, this is going to be the negative log of 10 to the minus 99. We don't even need our calculator for this particular problem since we can do the logs of powers of 10 in our head and we see immediately that the log of 10 to the minus 99 is minus 99 multiplied by the leading minus 1 in front and we are left with the result that the pH is 99. This is incorrect, but this is the result that we would get by a naive application of the method that we've learned. How do we know that this is an incorrect result? Well, first of all, while the pH scale isn't defined to be entirely between 0 and 14, it usually is between 0 and 14, we also know that a perfectly neutral solution will have a pH of 7. Acidic solutions should have a pH below 7, and basic solutions should have a pH above 7. Well, here we have a solution of a strong acid, hydrochloric acid, but, so we would suspect that if anything, the pH would be below 7. But on the other hand, we've calculated the pH to be not only above 7, but astronomically above 7. Therefore, Something does not compute here, and we must have made at least one error in our derivation. And we have. So now, we shall go back and solve the problem correctly. Now, we shall solve the problem correctly. And to do this, we note that in any acidic solution, there are actually two sources of hydrogen ion. One of the sources of hydrogen ion is just from the dissociation of water. And we know that in a solution of pure water, the hydrogen ion concentration is going to be 10 to the minus 7 molar. So that's just the hydrogen ion that we get from the auto dissociation of water. In this case, we have a second source of hydrogen ion which is from the dissociation of the strong acid, hydrochloric acid, and that is 10 to the minus 99 molar. One thing to notice here is that 10 to the minus 99 is a vanishingly small value, particularly compared to 10 to the minus 7. In fact, 10 to the minus 99 is so small 
that we could all imagine it to be zero. And it's almost as if, if you have a 10 to the minus 99 mole of hydrochloric acid, we actually have virtually no acid in our solution at all. Therefore, the correct way to reason in this case is to assume that this sum, the total amount of hydrogen ion uh, present in our solution, is just 10 to the minus 7 molar. Because we're adding a very, very small value to a much larger value. Now we proceed to calculate the pH to be the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. As we've done before, we know that the hydrogen ion concentration here, for all intents and purposes, is 10 to the minus 7. Again, we can solve the log of a power of 10 by inspection, and we realize the log of 10 to the minus 7 is minus 7, multiplying by the leading negative sign, and then we get that the pH of the solution is going to be 7. This makes sense because 7 is the pH of a neutral solution and there is so little acid in this solution that is essentially pure water. So a pH of 7 is a reasonable answer for this particular problem. The important thing is not to blindly take the value of the concentration of the acid and simply plug it into the pH formula, particularly if the concentration is wildly out of the normal range. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a go.